Here we have the Plugin Alliance Brainworks BX Tuner for Guitar and Bass. And we got a nine string guitar strapped on right now to really test this guy out. This is a great tuner, by the way. The sound that you're hearing is coming from our Brainworks Mega Dual Amp Sim. These are, of course, separate purchases, but we'll go ahead and leave both of these open for now just so we can demo this. All right. So the Brainworks tuner, you know, everybody needs a good a good tuner, whether it's guitar, or bass, or whatever other instrument you want to tune up. And this is a nice lightweight tuner and inexpensive tuner and a no latency tuner. So let's go ahead and take an in-depth look at the features. Of course, you can turn it off or you know just bypass it up here if you want. So I play. Not gonna get reaction there. Uh, with it turned off there, turn it back on. So now we have three options here: play, dim, and mute. So right now it's on play. So of course we can start tuning. Tune that up. Responds well. All right. You can see up top there we have the fine tuning, which this top area up here is about three cents worth. Okay. We'll move on to the dim. Now the dim will dim your sound or reduce your level by about 20 dB. We can go ahead and tune that up. You know, this is good if you don't want to uh, you know, mute things or turn down your channel. You can just dim that and you can leave your guitar sim on. There we go, that's pretty good right there. And it will dim that for you, then you have mute. So if I put it on mute, my guitar is turned up here. Now it's not gonna pass audio down to the amp sim, so you can tune in silence. We can even tune that low ninth string. But the only thing about this tuner I don't really care for particularly is you can see that it's showing me flats. I personally prefer sharps, but this is what this one has. So we're doing this ninth string right now. Put this back on, say play, for example. And let's switch this down to channel one so we get a clean sound there. You can see it tunes very well, even for this very low string. So it works fine with bass and guitar. And of course, keep in mind that fine tuning feature there up in the top to really help you get things perfectly. Of course, with something like nine string or sometimes bass, to let things ring out a bit and to really tune it. That's really good right there, actually. Very good, it's gonna come down a little bit. There we go, perfect. So it's a good tuner overall. Let's go ahead and move on. We have to play the dim, the mute, as we already saw. Now, we also have presets. These aren't that useful, in my opinion, but presets there, if you want, they just change some of the options that we have here. So standard tune, uh, what have you there. Just put it back on factory default but you have that as well. You have a nice, as you can see, a large display there for your notes. Tune that up. And get it just perfect. There we go, we got our fine tuning green, and of course, our tuner LED in green as well. And from there, you have your reference pitch we can go 440 to 442, down to, down to 438. You'll probably leave that on 440. And we have our ballistics. They can be standard, fast, or slow. Put it on fast. And this just helps with different kinds of instruments because all instruments have different kinds of sustain, you know. So now our ballistics are fast. Very good. Spot on, perfect there. Maybe we want them um, slow. That's good. So there's your ballistics. You'll probably leave it on standard, but check out fast and slow as well. And that's pretty much it for a tuner. I mean, I don't know what else you expect for a tuner, but again, the good thing about this tuner is it's lightweight and it's latency free. So you can leave this on. And of course you can have your guitar amp still turned on and just uh, use your mute there if you wanna tune up in silence or use your dim or just leave it on play. eighth string there. Get it perfect. Let it sustain a little bit. There we go. Right on the money. We can bring up another tuner here in this case, the one from Guitar Rig. We 
can see that these are accurate tuners, both of them. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the BX tuner, guitar and bass tuner. Again, the only thing I really don't like about it is, turn that back up, we have flats instead of sharps. Not a huge deal, but it's worth worth noting in a review or a demo because some people really don't like flats. They prefer sharps or sometimes dots. But that is the Brainworks BX guitar tuner. Again, a no latency, rather inexpensive uh, guitar tuner from Brainworks and Plugin Alliance. You can always go ahead to Plugin Alliance and check it out.